about time. Good morning. It's the last morning in Texas, which has been a, it's been kind of a rough trip as far as the fishing goes. I haven't been really able to find them until actually yesterday. Yesterday I was able to find them all the way up river on the Guadalupe, so that's where I'm gonna run to this morning. Yesterday was actually, Monday I found them. Yesterday was a complete washout. I edited videos pretty much all day. But yeah, last morning, let's see if we can get it done. I'd like to get one video where I catch like four or five one pound plus crappie. The ones I caught earlier this week, they're like six, seven inches at most. So, I don't know. Clear, like super clear lakes, really tough for me. I struggle with super clear lakes. Comment below if you struggle with really clear lakes. This is a super, super clear lake, on, especially the main part of the lake. The river upstream is actually dirtier. Um, it's more stained. It's still like fairly clear. It looks like this turquoise color, but yeah, I don't know. All right, let's go find them upriver. We're here. I'm at the trees that I stopped fishing Monday before the big rainstorm came through. And there were fish here. I caught actually more fish in the open part of the water. There's submerged trees about 10 feet down or so, 15 feet. But it looked like there were some bigger fish on the live scope on two days ago when I was here. So we're gonna put you on a live scope and see if we can put something in the boat. Since uh the guy that pretty much gave me most of the advice on how to fish this stuff was SK. Appreciate it. Big shout out to you. I'm actually going to use some of this hand-tied jigs that he sent me. The carrot, the uh, the orange carrot has been hot apparently for uh, Matt. So I'm going to tie that on. And where are you? Enjoy and go catch them. I'll try my best. Yeah, I'm thinking the orange and chartreuse tails. That's what I'm going to tie on. Hand tied by SK himself. Honestly, the best thing I ever bought compared to that thing and keeping all my plastics and boxes and stuff. This is fantastic. Oh, there he is, got him. Oh, it's a crappie. It's a crappie, a little bit bigger than yesterday, not much. Okay, there's some fish on that one. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, it's a good one, yes! Good job, SK. It's a donkey. Oh wait, that's that's hook sick. My bad. Yes. Yes. About time. I'm gonna get the bump board out. SK getting it done. SK, you just saved my entire trip right there with that one fish. That one fish. Mouth closed. 12 and a half, baby. There we go, 12 and a half inch fish. Yeah, just shy, 12 and a half. Whew. So jacked, last day. My man SK, getting it done, thank you. Right there. So I have to keep finding it with the live scope. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Oh, 
Got him. Got him. It's, a, nah, it's not the biggest one. Dang. Flopping crappie has a bunch of crappie flopping on the boat today, fellas. Uh, he's right at the 10 mark, but I'm going to let him go. See you, big guy. I'm actually going to let the big girl girl too. I'm not keeping any fish. I just want it for a picture fish. Found him. Found him. Just last morning getting it done. Oh, you guys have no idea how, how jacked I am right now. It's kind of one of those things I wish I'd have ran up river the very first day I was here. The very first day, but I didn't. Try to find main lake fish and I don't know. This this is entire this entire flat is just a spawning flat. It gets down to up to about a foot, foot and a half, something like that. There's brush, these little pieces of brush, some emerged brush sticking out. They love to spawn in that. Both I, I've seen the exact same thing in Wisconsin. Just they love spawning in that little short brush. And SK said, hey, find that spawning flat, move back to about 10 to 15 feet of water. And this stuff is in about 12 feet. Find that brush pile right, ex right against that spawning flat. That's where you're gonna find them. Whew, SK, you saved my, my trip, man. You saved my trip. Get another guy. Oh, there's, there's the school. See them all? Holy smokes. Bunch of them just moved in. There's the jig. Get another one, come on. That's, is that a big girl right there? Oh, that's a big one, that's a big one, come on, hit it. Oh no, it had him, oh no. That was a big fish, did you see that? There's a couple big ones in this, in this brush pile, or this submerged tree. Couple big, big fish. Come on, got him, got him. Yes, there he is. Another big one. Ooh. Canyon Lake crappie fishing. Texas has been brutal this past three days. Rainstorms, bluebird skies, no, not really the greatest fishing, but last morning you, you treated me well. You treated me well. Oh, easy, easy. Oh yeah, another, whoa, come on. I think it's 11 and a half, 11 and a quarter. 11 and a quarter, we're gonna call it, right there. Oh man, 11 and a quarter fish. Oh. Got him, got him, oh, no. oh that was a bass. That was a largey. I was gonna say that's a, uh, it's pretty good crappie. Oops, scratched the paint job on it though. Apologies. My bad, SK. Oh, there he is. Got him. Got him. It's a dink. It's a dink. But he hammered that. Look at him, just choked that carrot stick. I actually don't know what he calls these, carrot carrot jigs? And I, I'm sorry, I don't think he's gonna make anything for you. He might, I just know it takes him a long time to tie these on, so. Carrot stick, getting it done. So there's some kind of, there's some big fish below the boat. Come on, Jig, do your job. Oh, got 
Got him. Got him. Yes. It's a good one too. Yes, it's a giant crappie. SK, my man. Thank you so much. This is gonna wrap it up. I gotta readjust my big camera here. Oh my goodness. Texas crappie, Canyon Lake. With the SK carrot stick. It worked on Wren Lake. If you saw Matt's video, he jacked him up on Wren Lake with that same jig. Canyon Lake, South Texas. <laughs> yes! Oh, so jacked right now. All right, so there we go. That's gonna wrap up this, this short morning video. SK, I can't thank you enough for the uh, hand-tied Marbu jig. This is the, uh, this is the Marbu jig he was using. Actually, I'll show it on this. Yeah, it's a carrot stick. It's what they, I don't know if Matt called it that or he called it that, but it jacked him up on Wren Lake. Got the job done on the last morning for me on Canyon Lake. I'm gonna throw these guys back in the live well. Pretty much, I mean, I made the mistake of trying to find main lake crappie. Uh, that's usually what I try to do up north is, you know, I don't fish a whole lot of river systems up north other than the Mississippi and the St. Croix. And those aren't really part of a, of a lake system by any means. So I normally don't run upstream. I should have taken note when I fished in uh, Missouri on Lake of the Ozarks. We fish way up the Osage arm and find that stained or dirty water. This is a lot more stained. The visibility is probably only about a foot or two. If you go to the main lake, it's like 10 feet visibility. So yeah, that's, that's the mistake number one that I made on this trip. Should have done it the first day, I should have just ran up, but what are you gonna do? You live and you learn, I'm not a pro. But uh, yeah, SK, thanks again. And uh, braid, a lot of people talk about not using braid for crappie. This is 10 pound braid on the uh, Piston Fun Carbon X. 10 pound braid, they didn't have a problem with it. Those big ones didn't have a problem with seeing the braid and having this hit, so SK, thank you again, really. Finding these brush piles or these submerged trees, the spawning bay is right behind me against the shoreline. There's just little bushes. They're probably about three feet tall. They're in about a foot and a half of water. Crappie will spawn up in there. Uh, up north on the northern lakes that we have, it's probably not the same vegetation, but it's something that looks pretty similar to that. And they'll spawn in that and then they'll push off. Right now they're in post-spawn mode, obviously. I'm catching them 10 to 15 feet. The trees are probably, well, those trees are pretty much right at the water surface. So be careful if you're using your big outboard. Um, but a couple of those fish I caught six inches to two feet right below the surface. And uh, yeah, they didn't have a problem with coming up to the boat. They didn't have a problem with the braid. So, um, so that's gonna wrap up the video. I appreciate you watching as always. If you want live updates, cause sometimes I don't get these videos out in time, live updates on what I'm doing, go to my Facebook page, go to my Instagram page. You got any questions, you can message me either in the comment section or at Facebook or Instagram. And if you're new to this channel, please click that subscribe button, click that bell, and smash that thumbs up button. All right, we'll see ya.